What is good, Dudge Nation? What is good, family? Peace, love, and light, as always, man. In this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about five flour alternatives that you guys can utilize in all of your recipes, all right? And all of these flour alternatives on this list are gluten-free, so if you are somebody that's gluten intolerant or you have celiac disease, these are the alternatives for you. Now, traditionally used flours, such as white flour or wheat flour, are extremely harsh on our digestive system. They're toxic to the body and lead to many chronic illnesses, okay? Typical flours are fortified, they're bleached, and they're stripped of all of their mineral compounds, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep it honest with you guys. Some of these may shock you, and some of these may have been easily accessible to you for this whole time and you didn't know about it. But you definitely want to stick to the end because this video is definitely going to help you have a more healthier lifestyle. The first on this list to healthy flour alternatives is coconut flour. Now, I'll be honest with you, in my experience with coconut flour, it's not the best with frying, but it is great with baking. And anything that has coconut in it is always gonna promote brain health by the healthy fats, okay? So coconut flour has a great texture, all right? It's actually gonna provide you with some vitamins and minerals. It's gonna provide you with some healthy fats, okay? It's gonna provide you with some healthy omega-3 fatty acids, all right? And it mixes very well. It's also high in fiber. Now, out of these five on this list, Coconut flour will probably be the one that will promote the most in terms of fat loss, okay? So I definitely recommend you guys using coconut flour as an alternative to bake, okay? It's definitely, uh, it has a great texture in terms of baking. For frying, I probably wouldn't recommend it, but as we go down this list, I'm gonna tell you some alternatives um, and some flour alternatives that are good for frying and baking as well, all right? So moving into the second on the list, the second flour alternative on this list is garbanzo flour, AKA chickpea flour. Now for all of you guys who follow Dr. Sebi, you know that garbanzo beans are approved on his alkaline list. So this flour right here is gonna give you some fiber, it's gonna give you some protein, and in my experience with this flour, it bakes well and it fries decently, okay? So you can use it for your uh, pancakes, you can use it if you're trying to coat something, I don't eat meat personally, but if you do eat chicken or something, um, you can dip it in that and saute it or fry it, whatever you do. But garbanzo uh, flour is an alkaline flour because chickpeas are alkaline, all right? So this is actually gonna uh, increase the alkalinity in your bloodstream. So you definitely wanna be consuming garbanzo flour as an alternative. It's gonna give you some fiber. It's gonna be able to be passed through your digestive tract easier as opposed to traditional flour such as white and wheat that actually cause inflammation and stress the gut, all right? Moving into number three, the third best flour alternative. The third best flour alternative is spelt flour. Now this right here is my personal favorite. I oftentimes make my vegan wings with this flour. If you go check out that recipe, I'll leave a card right here. I love using spelt flour. Spelt is another alkaline grain that is approved on Dr. Sebi's list for all you people that follow Dr. Sebi, the holistic herbalist um, who passed back in 2016. So spelt, spelt flour in my experience has been the best with frying. It coats really well. You can bake with it really well. It's also, it's gonna give you that fiber. It's gonna give you essential vitamins and minerals such as iron, okay? So I definitely recommend using this as an alternative. You're gonna notice a trend on this list. All of these flour alternatives are gonna give you vitamins, mineral, and fiber, unlike traditional bleached uh, flour such as white and wheat. All these flours are gonna be able to pass through your digestive tract easily. Your body's gonna be able to absorb from it and recognize it. So spelt flour, definitely on this list for the top five. I definitely recommend that you guys look into spelt flour. You can find spelt flour at any health store for the most part. If you don't have one in your local area, you can always order it online, on Amazon, or through somebody else. So spelt is definitely a go for me, excellent for frying. Number four on this list of the top five healthy flour alternatives is oat flour. Now oat flour, I typically make it by blending gluten-free oats in a blender, and then I use that to bake my um, cannabis oatmeal raisin cookies. Uh, I don't believe I've uploaded a recipe on that on, on the channel yet, but comment down below and let me know if you do want to. I post a recipe on my Instagram a lot, so make sure to go check out my IG. I also link that down below for all my recipes. But um, oat flour is another great alternative. Again, I use gluten-free oats, but you can just buy the flour if you don't feel like blending it up. Now, in my opinion, this is best for baking. I love baking with it. It gives a nice earthy and almost 
nutty type of um, taste when you're baking. It mixes very well, it holds together well. I wouldn't recommend it for frying um, for the simple fact that if you're frying it, it's, uh, you may need to add additional baking powder to it just so it can kind of emulsify and hold everything together. But for baking oat flour, uh, gluten-free oat flour is another great alternative to conventional white and wheat flour, all right? Now, hope you guys are enjoying this video. Moving into the last alternative, man. The last flour alternative is wild rice flour. Now, wild rice flour, or maybe even brown rice flour, is a great flour to use. Now, with my experience using wild rice flour, it holds up very well. It's excellent for baking or frying. Um, it also is going to give you vitamins and minerals, again, such as iron. You're going to get your fiber. You're also going to get phosphagen, which is actually going to give you more energy. So if you're looking for energy and health, I would say that wild rice flour is definitely the way to go. It's excellent for baking. You can fry it. It has a high heat threshold, all right? And you're going to get some vitamins and minerals, all right? So comment down below and let me know if you guys would like me to make a part two of this video or comment down below any other um, ideas on nutrition and health that you would like me to talk about. This is what I'm passionate about. I've got my degree in exercise science. I live for health and nutrition. Um, so de definitely guys, thank you for tuning in, all right? If you guys would like to purchase any of my meal or personal training services, you can go to my website, dudleydoes.com, where I offer vegan, pescatarian, and omnivore uh, meal plans, and as well as athletic training programs. So sincerely guys, thank you for tuning in. There's not much left to say in this video, all right? Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, family. Stay blessed.